And we're back with some more RimWorld. Today we're just recovering from that last disastrous, disastrous fight we had against uh, the mechanoids. Um, I've decided to make quite a few changes to make sure that this does not happen again, such a horrific fight. First up is the new killbox design. The new killbox is going to be very similar to the old one, except we're going to take this entire row here, move it back two tiles, and, okay, these walls here will have to go as well, but uh, just imagine this entire row here is going to be moved back one row. That fire phone pop will have to go. And then we're going to replace this entire front row here with just granite barricades. Now, the reason for this is it allows us to double the amount of firepower we're able to get into the kill box. The problem last time around was these centipedes just built up far too quickly. And I could not pour enough damage downrange fast enough to kill them all. Best bet, though, is... Uh, well, I was also making another mistake. I was using all charge rifles, and against a large mass like this... I would have been better off using miniguns. Miniguns against a bonus against large targets, so I would have been doing far more DPS if I had to switch my people to miniguns. So, yeah, I think that's where we're going to be going. And I'm going to put all my miniguns in here. We're going to have a little minigun storage facility. So when the time comes, people can pick up their miniguns on the way in, drop whatever weapon they're holding on the floor. Oh, and we'll hold this open. And once they've uh, got their miniguns, they can go in here to do their fighting. When they're finished, we'll run them back through and collect them their original weapons. It'll be a pain in the butt, but it should give us the DPS we need to handle any further mechanoid raids. Uh, down here, I'm going to have to do something similar, but that's going to be a little while now. <laughs> There's several things we need to do. Oh, and I'd like to thank uh, Sion, S-I-O-N, for this recommendation. Well, they recommended that I have some fallback positions, and that's what I'm also going to do. I'm going to put further barricades further back, so as these walls get obliterated and annihilated by the incoming waves of fire, we can fall further and further back into our defensive positions. Which also reminds me, I've installed defensive positions so I can get my, uh, my pawns there faster. Once I set them up once, I shouldn't have to do it again. So I'm going to have to do some playing around with that. Carl, Carlack? pointed out that uh, the pawns in the killbox are getting in a, a debuff from being in darkness, so I should just install a lamp. Which, yeah, that makes a, a disturbing amount of sense. Uh, one lamp would prevent a debuff, which might just stop people from, you know, going crazy at some point in the future. So we'll stick one yeah, about there somewhere. Yeah, perfect, that should be fine. Most of this place is roofed over, so that's why they were getting the debuff. Ooh, meteorite slate. Okay, you know what, we'll just mine that out now. It's not that I need it, but uh, I just don't want it there. Eh, what was next up? Eh, oh yes, e Isaac21 advised me there'd been a new update in the patch. You can now add a bill to cook four meals at once. This saves so much time. This means they bring over four stacks of equipment all at once and they spend more time cooking. For example, here's shield cooking away. They've got 2020 and then they do two runs, grab enough food, and they can cook up four more meals. Normally, they'd have to do four runs to cook up four meals. Oh, look at that. So much better. Thanks again for pointing that out to me, Isaac. That just, that saves so much time. Uh, next up is a Vader 42 Mood Bars. Mood Bars 1.1 is back, and you can now use them again. And why is Anita in the red? Colonist died. Ah, yes. People are kind of unhappy about all those colonist deaths. Two colonists died. Unsightly environment, and you ate without a table. I feel your pain. Well, we'll set you up at a beer, and you'll be fine. I've also had to go around and start replacing a bunch of limbs. Uh, the reason being, for example, uh, Digtastic here got their leg burned off. The right leg was entirely burned clean off, which... Yeah, turns out that's a thing that can possibly happen. Have they finished the Marble Sarcophagus? No, they have not. And that sound you're hearing is more bugs spawning, which is bad. Ugh, yeah, that's not good. I'm going to have to go in there and clean them out shortly. I just... I think we're almost about ready. Everyone's almost healed up. But I would prefer to wait until the negative col colonist mood debuff went away, which is another... Well, 1.7 days. So two days from now, we'll go in and clean them out and we're going to collect an enormous amount of insect meat and we're going to make a crap ton of chem fuel because, well, because of reasons that will become clearer later. Anyway, let's skip this forward a bit and see if Randy's got any surprises in store for us before we take on the infestation. We got our hands on a new recruit in Maze. She's been promptly set up. Uh, she's nothing too special, to be honest. Uh, what was her stats again? Bio-wise, she can't firefight, which is one of the only ones I've got who can't firefight, but she's a hard worker and a psychopath. I stuck her straight into animals and mining. We'll get her some training on the hunting once we get rid of that... Uh, 
yeah, when, once we get rid of all those annoying mega spiders, we'll sort that out. But for the time being, we've got to worry about this. It's a uh, mechanoid hive is dropping right on top of us. Yeah, I think, I think it's time we got everyone assembled. Now, for the time being, luckily, all of these doors are still open here. These were the doors where um, the last mechanoid raid came through. You know, there's a lot of mechanoids going around today. So I figure we retreat them. Mm, Banzo, I think you're stuck on the outside, buddy. You're going to have to run through here and get away. I, I don't want to th try bringing them back. They may not have time to get through a door. I don't want to trigger them getting anyone through. So, yeah, time to bring everyone home and then uh, see if we can't manage this raid. So, simply enough, everyone's going to congregate here, except for Banzo. Banzo? Banzo? Banzo is actually getting a rename. This was a, a suggestion from Hector. Banzo was the one that did that really clutch doomsday rocket launcher shot that took out an absolute crap ton of tribals. So, they're getting a new name. Bazooka Joe. So, Bazooka Joe will be handling... <laughs> Well, our bazooka needs in the future. You know what? I am going to get them to go up here and in just uh, yeah, as a precautionary measure. Also, these doors have been left open. That's good. We'll make sure there's a, a pawn available for them to, to latch onto. Now, let's see. I want everyone out of there as quickly as possible. Uh, bazooka, Joe, you might want to move a bit faster, buddy. Wow, that's a lot of scythers. Only scythers? Yeah, that's fine by me. We can uh, we can mince we can mince meet the scythers pretty fast. To be honest, there won't be. I don't want to say they won't be a problem, but this is. I, I was worried it was going to be a whole bunch more centipedes. Things seem to be going okay. I've got a nice kill box lineup done. Theoretically, they should be able to shoot over the shoulders of the pawns in front of them without causing any friendly fire. Though I suppose I'll find out at the end of this. Uh, Bazooka Joe is back. Okay, they should slot in nice and neatly there, and we should be... Yep, that's everyone good to go. Now, the Scythers should come in the front door and then get themselves riddled full of bullets. I have blocked the doors again. I know I should put together a uh, an actual zone to stop them from my pawns from leaving, but I figure this is just as good. You know what? We should probably let the animals out. I think the animals can be let out now as well. They're not going to... Actually, no. We won't let the animals out just yet. Not until we've dealt with the Scythers. Dear Lord. Well. Yeah, they're not going to get through the kill box too good. Eh. No friendly fire. No friendly fire. I think this is a good improvement in DPS, though. We won't really know until we get a chance to trade this out on some, uh, some centipedes. Okay, Chan. Chan, that's... Right, Chan, we are going to need you to, uh, just, just, maybe dodge aside for a minute. Yeah, there you go, buddy. Now you can get back to work. In fact, you know what? Everyone can get back to work. Oh, damn. We didn't uh, use any miniguns there, triple rocket launchers, for the reasons that, well, yeah, this is just a bunch of scythers. We, we didn't really care. Okay then, we'll uh, we'll call that a successful soiree, and we'll get on with our day. Um, I better open up all these doors, and then I better make sure all of the. Well, I'm gonna have to get around to killing all of the um the bugs in here, aren't I? Yeah, this mega spider. Well, actually, it's still not getting out of hand. That's 45. I think we dealt with a hundred when they spawned in here. So yeah, I I think we can handle that. I swear, I was just about to get around to those th those annoying bugs, and then yeah, we got another mechanoid <laughs> mechanoid raid. They're uh. Yes, Randy is being very kind to us because he's allowing us to test out our new kill box. I mean, obviously, that is what he is doing. He, he knows we've made a new kill box and he is just being generous and allowing us to test it. Thank you, Randy. All hail. Now, I am going to uh, set up the kill box again pretty much the same as last time. I should have saved defensive positions. That would have been a smart idea. But first, let's see what Randy has in store. No, wait. No, no. First, we'll put our animals to the safe zone. Then we'll see what Randy has in store. All right, Randy. What do you got for us? More scythers? 80 scythers. Okay. I guess. Um. Right, we'll just, uh, suppose, get more plasteel. This is going to cost me a bit of granite, though, knocking out all of those. How is our stone supplies looking? Uh, marble? I keep seeming to demolish all my marble. I am making marble at 
a ludicrous rate. This is all the marble. That's pretty much all we're grinding up. But for some reason, I'm spending it all. Probably on repairs, I suppose. Or statues. I'm churning out statues. That's why this is going on. And oh my god, where did all that steel come from? How do I have so much steel? <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. We'll, uh... Yeah, we'll, we'll get on with slaughtering all these scythers, why don't we? So everything is going just about according to plan, except a few scythers have decided to try and break down this door. That could be inconvenient, and I think a few more are going down to try and break down that door. Uh, it's an annoyance, but we shall learn to live with it. Um, we'll wall it in and we'll just have to keep an eye on the map to make sure that nothing of those break in down there. I'm going to dispatch a few forces here to see if we can't hold this door just in case they do break through, but I'm hoping they give up and just decide to turn around. And go in the rest of the way where all the rest of them are dying. Hey, how, is, how are we doing down here? Hey, one of them has turned away you. What are you thinking of doing? Come on. Go away. Yeah, perfect. This worked out about perfect. Yeah, I think we'll call that a, a win there. We can uh, just add a whole bunch more plasteel to our storage tanks, I think. Hmm. There's too many of them breaking through. There's seven of them in the kill box. There should not be seven of the kill box. There should be a lot less than that. I think I'm going to summon along some reinforcements. Some people were asleep and I didn't summon them up before. But I think before things get mm, uncomfortable, I think I'm going to request a few more people join in in this uh, fight. In case things get worse, I've also queued up a bunch of melee people to stand at the back row just, just in case some of them manage to break through. Ooh, they've gone through a lot of the turrets. This is starting to get a little bit... Yeah, I don't want them closing. They do an awful lot of damage if they get in close. Shoot them. Shoot them. It's not good, people. Keep shooting, keep shooting, keep shooting. Hmm. I'm thinking it's time to put uh, some melee people to the front. You may accidentally get shot. I apologize in advance. Uh... You're going to get surrounded and cut down if I'm not careful. But if I don't... Wow, that's a lot of them. That is an awful, awful lot of them. Okay, uh, all hands on deck, people. Yeah, this is making me nervous. All our fodder turrets are dead and they're streaming through. Maybe I should retreat and try and force them back this direction again? Mm, no, no. We are going to fight and we are going to hold this line. This is our new defensive kill box and it will not fall. Uh, you go here. I'm going to pull back some of my melee people and get them uh, a little bit further back. You go here, Chan. Come on, pull back. Jesus, this is not good. Christ. Uh, Tyler, you have a shotgun. That's going to be absolutely no use. Rescue Gorilla. How are they doing in health wise? <gasps> Three hours? Okay, I'm going to lose more people, aren't I? And I thought this was going to be an easy one. How many uh, frontline people have we got left for? Jesus, there's 37 scythers in that location. Oh, please tell me I'm not going to lose it at this point. That would be just... Did we... Damn it, Hurtle. Okay, Hurtle's dead. Uh, come on. Uh, you go here. Uh, should we pull back to the next row? Uh, yes. Yes, we should. We should fall back behind this line. Let me do some tweaking here. Plan is simple. We fall back behind this line right here. That will narrow down the fields of fire, and then we'll just pour firepower and people across on top of them. Oh, damn it, we dropped another person. And I need to get a doctor back. Where's Digtastic? Digtastic, I am going to need you to not be attacking the Scythers. We are going to put you on. Ignore that. If that happens, will you go... No, I don't want you going back to resting. I want you going back to the damn hospital. You need to keep pee -pee, be keeping people alive. Uh, once Tyler gets there, you are going to need to be medicating them. Uh, well, he's one of my better doctors, is he not? You know, close enough. Uh, everyone else, retreat. Damn it, another one's down. Death's... Ah! Crud! Yep, this is just my bad. It's my bad. I'm messing this up. I should have fallen back earlier when things started looking crazy. Sappy, get out of there, Sappy, or you're dead anyway. Christ. You, go there. 
you go there. And uh, we're going to need some more close combat people. Uh, where is Digtastic? Yeah, you tend to them. Tyler, uh, no, you're useless. Shield, once you have finished with that, I'm going to need you to return to the front lines. Jane, uh, get in there. Where are you going? What are you doing? Get in there. I want you to go here and start smashing those to bits. We need every single person here. This is just a... God damn it, how am I messing this up so badly? You were doing so well for so long. And there goes Vincent. Yes, because... God damn it. Right. You stand on top of his corpse and make sure no more of those scythers get in. I suppose EMP grenades would have been a choice. But realistically, I thought we would smash them before they even got that close. How many of you are left alive? 23. Jesus Christ. Shield. Uh, get up there. Yep, there goes another one. You, I said go here. Stand on top of the dead guy. You, melee attack this. Melee attack that scyther. <laughs> this is a freaking mess in a... Ah. Come on, kill a lot of them. Kill them all. Leave none alive. Okay, guys, that, that's enough of that. Let's, uh... Let's maybe not have you... You know what, let's have you hold fire for just a moment. Right. Rescue everyone. Right now, get them all back. We need some serious medical attention for a lot of people. I am not losing another pawn today. Too much time and effort went into acquiring all of these, and I've lost three in a silly raid that I should have taken ah, far more easily. Ah, oh, damn it. Right. It's, it's, yeah, it's a mess. People are... Oh, God, push ward. No! No, no, no. Someone needs to tend to them. You are not letting Pushwork die. Just, no. I'm pretty sure they're married as well. This is just... Mm. Yeah, maybe I need to rethink think my kill box. Especially when I'm faced with 80, 80 scythers. Uh, more turrets to act as... Turrets have been heavily nerfed in the most recent patch. Uh, the armor... Uranium slug turret? Yeah, it had its damage reduced from 70 to 30, I believe. It had its armor piercing reduced. It had its rate of fire reduced. The whole thing, you need about three of them just to get about the same amount of damage as you were previously getting. So, yeah, it seems turrets have just become an awful lot weaker in general. And how are we looking down here? Oh yeah, we've, we've, we've saved everyone but three. Um, we're going to just stick in a few sarcophagus at the back. Most of these were newer hires and oh my god, now I need to get even more. Right. Thank you, Randy. Thank you so much. You've uh, taught me the error of my ways. Also, wow. I'm going to need to start putting together more of these uh, electric smelters because I cannot smelt the steel fast enough. The, the, the scrap that's coming down is so much that even with two smelters, I can't keep up with it. Uh, let me have a, a rethink about what I'm going to do with this kill box and uh, we'll see what I'll come up with next, I suppose. Never mind, I lost Roth Kelly. They died as well because I didn't realize they were over here lying down. Oh well, uh, it happens. Now I just got to make sure I unallow all this stuff so we can put all this stuff back into storage before it degrades. Ah, uh, what a wonderful, wonderful day. <laughs> I really, really need to get a handle on how to deal with that. We are slowly but surely recovering. I have gone around and started replacing limbs because, yeah, scythers, it seems, have a tendency to slice a lot of things off. So there was a lot of missing arms and legs. Uh, shattered jaws. Yeah, this one just had a new denture put in. Oh, they also need a new arm. I think, have I run out of arms? Yep, I'm out of arms. Oops. Yeah, I've got more queued up. We need more arms. We need more legs. Actually, no, we got enough legs. We just need more arms. Jesus. Also some bionic ears. I'm going to have to start making bionic ears to replace the ears that people lost. This, yeah, this has been a learning experience. Don't, uh, don't get very blasé when Scythers show up. A Eighty of them will make an absolute mess and I needed to bring everyone there and be pouring maximum firepower downrange from the start. And, oh, I didn't really need the miniguns. I needed all my charge rifles there. That was my mistake. Didn't bring all my charge rifle people. Anyway, let's see what else Randy's going to throw at me to uh, educate me on the ways of this game. We are finally almost there. We've got three hours left until this colonist uh, deaths expires. And once that's gone, everyone's mood will be back at a default level. Well, okay, except for the people who've lost loved ones and friends and wives and 
Okay, there's been a few losses, but once this is gone in one hour's time, we will at last be able to go out and take care of the bugs, which have, yeah, got ridiculously out of control, because of course they have. Uh, I only buried two of the colonists because the third one got eaten. Um, oops. Yeah, I, I, I think the huskies ate them. Yep, um, probably not the brightest thing to do to let it happen. Uh, but I think, how are we looking? Yes. Oh, yeah, time to set up our kill box over here and start taking out these bugs. How many have we got to deal with? Okay, well, how many mega spiders? 56 mega spiders and 56 stellipedes and a bunch of those little baby ones. Hey, yeah, I think, yeah, I think we'll set up a kill box down here and take care of them. Kill box team assembled. The rest can go back to work. We'll send someone in to start drawing out these bugs. Yeah, this is going to be a long run. Let's get someone with some decent legs, shall we? Well, Anita does have a couple of Arcotech legs. That sort of makes her the default go-to person for this. Uh, we just got to make sure the doors are going to stay open. Oh, Snail, you can go back to work. All right, we've even got some spare melee people. And I brought two grenadiers because we are going to grenade the bejesus out of them. I am taking absolutely no risks with this uh, setup. She should be able to draw their attention quite quickly. She's a decent shot. Yeah, there we go. Oh, come on, seriously, she killed one and they didn't even care. All right, these bugs are pretty heartless. Nothing? Come on, guys. <laughs> you gotta give it to Anita. She knows how to mess things up. Oh, there we go. Have we got their attention? Yeah, we've got their attention. Yeah, we'll, we'll run back to here and uh, we'll maybe tag them a bit more. They have a tendency to uh, lose interest if you run too far. Yeah, I think they're getting nice and close. Uh, that got their attention. That will renew their interest in chasing. God damn. Okay, the game's actually getting a bit chuggish now. I think it doesn't like this many bugs running about the place. Nope. Oh. Yeah, I think it's time we get out of here. And maybe put these people on hold fire? Yeah, I, I don't want them riddling Anita with bullets as she runs through. Okay, now that she's in... Oh, animals. Yes, animals. You know what, animals? Why don't you all go to the safe zone? I don't want you all hanging around here messing things up for everyone else by stepping across when you shouldn't be. And now it's time to start laying on the grenades. And we'll have one about there. And second one will go about there. Oh, wait, no, you know what? We will have you not fired just yet. I want to have them staggered so that one grenade hits, then the other. Uh, damn it. One second. All right, so this grenadier is firing, this one is holding fire, and everyone else is ready to kick ass, except for these fellas. You five need to not run forward. You, why don't you just uh, ignore? Uh, I sometimes have a tendency to run forward and kind of get themselves shot. I will put you there. Yeah, that's your silly man. Oop, already took out a wall. Eh, let's see what happens. Using a similar strategy on the Scythers might have been a good idea now that I think about it. They were all melee as well. Uh, we could have totally... Yeah, you know what? Yeah, let's take care of those. We could have totally done something similar and they never would have gotten even close to us. Uh, I'm still going to need to squat to go in there and wipe the remaining nests out though. And we're not going to get much insect jelly. This Most of it's going to be all degraded. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. We'll, uh, we'll get whoever's not close to breaking. We'll get a squad of them together and we'll go in there and we'll uh, remove the last of the annoyances. Oh, and hopefully we'll get a few corpses out of this at the end of the day. I have put the entire colony on hold duty after that clean-out, just to grab all the insect jelly and everything and scoop it out of there. We immediately sold it to a passing trader, which worked out really great, and we got our hands on a bunch of plasteel and some other stuff from the trader. Not anything too crazy, but enough that it was useful. And Shield, why are you getting ready to break? Oh, your lover and friend, Dame Wasp, has died, which has given you a cumulative negative of, what, that's 22? Yeah, it's going to be awkward. Uh, you know what? Grab a beer, buddy. You'll be fine. Probably. Yeah, there's going to be a few more mental breaks from them in the next 16 days, I'm thinking. Uh, yeah. Don't care about that quest. Someone got a disease. We had a cold snap. We're in the middle of a volcanic winter. R Mole rejoined the community after they tried to leave and we had to arrest them. Uh, psychic suits the females. I think that's worn out. And a quest expired. Don't care. Exotics, good trader. We just traded with them. 
Okay, so we're getting back on our feet. Uh, we're in the middle of a volcanic winter, which is a bit of an annoyance. We won't be growing much this year, but money is no longer a problem at this stage of a colony. I am just raking in money faster than I can spend it. If we check out our graphs, yeah, let's check out our graphs here. Even with money, I think this was the setback where we got hit, where we burned out half our base. Even then, the, the colony's wealth just keeps going up, though we have sort of plateaued. I'm trying not to get any more wealth for a while, <laughs> just to hopefully ease off on the massive raids we're getting. Another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of these insect corpses and we are going to grind them up and we are going to make chem fuel. I'm not going to use these ones. These are too far away. I'm going to make the chem fuel over here. True, it's in the refrigeration area, but yeah, I just want it done. Anyway, I think all of the hauling is done with, so let's get everyone back to their normal duties. Yeah, I think that worked out okay. Now let's get back to our, uh, our normal grind. I want to get some caravans going. I want to go out onto the world map and we want to start doing drop pod missions to all of the surrounding areas to get as much plasteel as they have and turn all that plasteel into weapons and armor for our people. We have run into a minor problem. Shield uh, has decided to leave the colony. He's decided to leave the colony while he's on the very edge of the map and we have no way of stopping them. I think who's the closest by? Kai? Uh, maybe we can get Kai to arrest them? I... Yeah, I think Shield's about to leave us. God damn it, Shield. That's not fair. You're one of our good cooks as well. Where are you going, Shield? Where are you going? Oh, thank God. We managed to arrest them. That's... You know what? I'm okay with that. We've managed to arrest them. We'll have to reintegrate them into the colony, treat them like a prisoner for a while. Don't care. By the time they get out of prison, they should have forgotten about all the horrible things that happened. Uh, what's the quest? Yeah. Ooh, an Arquitect eye. Hmm. Interesting. 11 turrets, one mortar, two enemies. So all we're going to do is kill the two enemies and then, well, we can take out the mortar, well, the turrets that are in our convenience. And if we do bring along, say, oh, a couple of sun lamps, we could probably drain their electrical grid. Nope, nope, we'll worry about that in a minute. There's a, a long range resource one I want to take care of. Or, actually, no, not even the long range one. I want to launch a trade caravan, then I'm going to launch another caravan. You know, we're going to start launching a lot more caravans. I want to have two trade caravans going simultaneously, if at all possible. Right now, we're just uh, getting some trading on. I want to get more plasteel, more of all the uh, little components we're going to need to get this all done. Also, advanced components, of course, because they are very valuable. So we're on the, the middle of a bunch of trade runs again. We are just buying up all the plasteel, all the advanced components we can get our hands on. And I'm buying it all with drugs because we have a load of flake. I don't have much clothing to clo trade anymore because I haven't been hunting due to, well, just the way things have gone down recently. Now, should we go over here? How long will that take? It's 3.6 days. We might be better off just going home from this location. Yeah, I think I will go home before this caravan gets too big. Now, the caravans I've been... I think I'm going to send out the caravans more frequently and just hit up more places. The reason being, if I keep the caravans to a certain size, I'm less likely to get raided and I'm putting three people per caravan at a time just to ensure we have enough firepower if we do get attacked. To, uh, to keep tide us over for work in the background, I've decided to put in an extra little power brick here. I'm just duplicating these ones up here. I find these actually pretty handy. I just stick them into a, a double square. Well, these uh, bricks, these squares I've laid out as uh, sort of the guidepost for building my colony. Really useful because now I know what to build. This is what I'm going to do as a standard power brick. Down here, I wanted to put something in here to stop drop pods from landing in here. Mechanoids only seem to land or drop pod in in places where there's nothing there. So they, ha they don't come through roofs, it seems. Well, I haven't seen them do that yet, uh, yet. And that's the assumption I'm working on. So this should mean they might try and drop pod in here, let's say. Here, here. Uh, probably some of these areas down here, but so long as I build stuff in places, they should start drop potting, uh, hopefully more around the edges and outside my defences. So then they have to go through my defences. That's the theory. Also putting in some uh, roads and stuff. I've, I've got way too much limestone. I bought a bunch of limestone off traders. At the same time, I'm bricking in these areas in here. Oh, that reminds me. We should uh, increase the size of that wall just a little bit. I want to brick these areas in so that uh, we can incinerate the bugs when the time comes. I'm also bricking in these areas down here and oh god what have I done. <laughs> That's uh, maybe I should leave a little bit of space so people can get in there and build those different bits. I may have got carried away. So we'll brick all this area in. Then if you'll notice this entire area will be sealed. And so long as we've bricked it in so that there's no exits out here we should be able to incinerate everything in here. This was a very common suggestion in the comments, and I think I'm going to use it in future because if I just start a fire, say, over here, it should incinerate everything all the way back there. It might just uh, save my, my pawn some fighting. 
cut down on the stress levels that are going around. Anyway, our caravan has been ambushed. That one that is full of stuff. Let's see what we're dealing with. Oh, this is just, yeah, this is beautiful. Only three. This is why I sent back the caravans early and this is why I've started dispatching three pawns with each one. At the same time, we I believe we do have some uh, mm, psychic knowledge, ah, those zappers that allow us to drop ones. So let's see if any of these are worth taking home as prisoners, maybe. I'm liking the look of Boam here. Good shooting. They'll level up fast. We can get up to level 10, which is the standard for a colony. And Masochist, which I really enjoy. That's super helpful because any pain they take just makes them happier, which means after a fight, they're generally just really good, even if they're injured. Uh, let's see where the zappers are. All right. Animals are assigned to a safe zone back here. Well, I think we'll get everyone in here for cover. Wait. Yeah. Sure, we'll only have to face two. We're going to be zapping down any of the ones that get near us. So we'll have Hoppy here. Uh, activate the psychic shock glance and what was it? Yep, yeah, we'll zap them and then we'll have the other two get into cover right there and then Hoppy Hawk can just uh, yeah, there should be decent enough cover once they're finished. Yeah, this should work out pretty fast. All we'll have to do is kill one of them and please tell me we didn't fry his brain. How's your health looking? Mm, just psychic shock, that's fine. And they're already broken. <laughs> I love miniguns. I love miniguns so much. Uh, how are you doing? You've got cirrhosis of the liver and yeah, you've got a chemical interest. We don't even care about capturing you even a little bit. So yeah, we'll just let you die. Perfect. Problem solved. We're going to take Boam the Banished with us. They'll, uh, they'll, they'll fit in nicely with the colony. Oh, and we'll take all your pemmican as well. Why not? Of course, because they're unconscious, it's 16.7 days home, but once, they, once they're once they up and on their feet and mobile after that, uh, we should be fine. Now, I think I'm running out of time. My footage has gone over the 30-minute mark. But uh, I think I think we're doing quite well for what's going on. Well, okay, let me rephrase. This episode went horribly wrong. We lost four colonists who got sliced down by scythers, which should never have happened. I should have had a, I should have not underestimated that. I won't in future. I'm putting in some reserve back lines in this kill box here. Once this one is finished, we're going to have to start working on that one. But for the time being, it's the mass production of marine helmets. We have a lot of plasteel. We have lots of steel, lots of gold. We are just going to turn out components, advanced components, charge rifles, marine helmets, and all the bionics we need to get all of our pawns up to, well, good standards. And we're going to start recruiting people. A lot more people. I just want we'd one more raid with people in it, preferably tribal. We've got five shock lances here, a sixth one on the way home, and I'm about to launch another caravan. I think, I think we're past the worst of it. Well, I, well, this game keeps reminding me I'm not past the worst of it. Anyway, I hope you enjoy it and uh, good luck.